So I wanted to welcome you, Lynn. Thank you so much for doing this. Um, I am a CDLP. I think uh, we have a couple of other people in here that have done some of the training. Um, and I know personally, I've been a CDLP since 2018. Um, with Divorce Lending Association, and it is one of the niches that has brought me a lot of success. Um, and I'm going to let Lynn explain why um, being a certified divorce lending professional um, can help you understand how to work within equity buyouts uh, during divorce situations, how to uh, collaborate with attorneys. They offer so much support. So with that being said, this is Lynn Gast from Divorce Lending Association. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We're very, very excited. Um, Sandy, first of all, thank you for bringing us in and, and for being a CDLP, first and foremost, so you know firsthand the benefits of membership, right? The benefits of oh. being involved with the association. So as, as she said, my name is Lynn Goss. I work with the Divorce Lending Association. So it's my pleasure to be here today. I'd like to do a couple of things. I'm going to share a little bit about who we are as an association, what the divorce market looks like, and then finally, how uh, we use that as a business strategy. So I think it's important to know that the Divorce Lending Association, we have been around since 2014. So we are not new to this business, right? We have been involved in the education and training to primarily mortgage and family law professionals, which we offer through a very comprehensive certification program, which I'll share with you today. Um, this includes educational webinars, coaching and a business development platform, including the license to teach, CLE and CE to family law professionals, such as divorce attorneys, financial planners, and mediators. So for us, the Divorce Lending Association, we truly stand out as the only association dedicated to bridging the critical gap in the divorce process. We are tr tr um, truly a hub of specialized experience for professionals that are seeking strategic solutions and access to resource and education right? The DLA recognized this gap and we've established ourselves as one of the go-to resources for not only lending professionals, but for family law professionals and consumers or individuals seeking guidance in navigating mortgage and financial aspects during and after a divorce. So our mission here is to create a collaborative environment where insights and expertise are shared for the betterment of our clients that are navigating uh, through the divorce process, where real property and mortgage financing are present. You know, the DLA doesn't just provide a membership card. It equips our members with comprehensive tools and resources to support your practice, right? It's a community where professionals from all fields come together to learn, grow, and ultimately um, provide a more comprehensive service to their clients. So we recognize the intricate challenges um, face during divorce proceedings, right? Especially when it comes to handling real estate and mortgage concerns. By fostering this unique partnership, we truly aim to enhance the support and the guidance that we offer to those undergoing one of the most life's most challenging transitions. So I'd like to welcome you uh, to this webinar today. And although we do a lot of webinars on being a CDLP and our certification program, and we're gonna touch on that a little bit, I really wanna deliver a different type of message today. You know, can divorce really be a strategic business decision in mortgage finance? And the answer to that is a definite yes, for the right mortgage professional that is, right? I think it's important to understand that this business decision goes way beyond underwriting guidelines and um, will impact divorcing individuals from a legal tax and financial aspect, you know? Divorce, if you didn't know, represents one of the most massive transfers of wealth and substantial, it carries substantial financial implications, right? Our CDLPs, Certified Divorce Lending Professional, they are considered one of the most, they're considered specialists, truly, in one of the most intimidating areas of finance, right? Our program, recognized for training, right? 
uh, not just the training course, but the business building platform we'll talk about today, right? For those loan officers that truly want to focus and grow a divorce mortgage planning practice and partner with family law professionals, such as divorce attorneys, certified divorce financial analysts, or CDFAs, right? Even mediators, divorce coaches, anyone working with divorcing homeowners. So today I'm going to do a, a short introduction into what the divorce market is and the opportunity that exists when, within that. And then we're going to do a little deeper dive um, into discussing divorce as a strategic business decision. So thank you for joining us today and let's get started, right? For those of you that don't know, um, roughly 20% of the U.S. population is under age 14. So we don't count them in this demographic, right? So the U.S. population, according to the CDC, in 2023, we had about 267 million people in this age range above age 14, right? And when we look at the number of divorces in the United States, 2.4 million divorces, it's about nine divorces per thousand people. So what is that direct impact to us as loan officers and originators in the mortgage business? right? If you didn't know, 70% of real property involves divorce. What does that mean? 1.68 million properties will be affected by divorce and about 3.4 million homeowners in 2023 went through that experience. So that is a lot of opportunity for someone that really wants to specialize and go after that market, right? But let's take that uh, to a different level. It's also important that I think you understand the depth of that opportunity, but also the overall general divorce opportunities, right? But what about specialized focus groups? We have our divorcing seniors, right? They have their own little circumstances and things that they go through when it comes to divorce. If you're 50 years and above, your divorce rate has doubled in the last 25 years. And if you're 65 and above, that same divorce rate's tripled. Outside of divorce, as a side note, our seniors are the greatest transfer of wealth because they have the most equity, the, the savings, the retirement, things were different then. Take on to that and layer on the, the divorce factor and you've got opportunity to be able to be of assistance to going, you know, to someone going through divorce, right? And so our seniors, 800,000 expected grade divorces by 2026 massive. Another focus area, however, our military. So for any of you that have been in our armed forces or are near a military base, this is, you know, a little bit more alarming to you as well, right? 3% of all active duty military gets divorced. That number jumps substantially if they've seen any kind of combat, not just war, but any type of deployment, it jumps to 80%. 80% of our military is getting divorced. And this is according to the DOD. So what we at the Divorce Lending Association has managed to do is to disrupt the normal process flow and establish the need for understanding and implementing divorce mortgage planning into the negotiation and settlement process of divorce. Divorce mortgage planning is no longer an after the process concept or normal way of looking at it. It's now an integral part of that attorney's case management, right? Putting our CDLPs right in the heat of things. When you, should you decide to take on the certification, uh, you would be involved during the negotiation and settlement phase. This positions you to not only set both divorcing homeowners up for success, but it's much easier to win over the opposing counsel than it is actually a listing agent. Therefore, doubling your networking opportunities, right? So when we look at this slide, you know, most traditional loan officers are brought in at the conclusion of a divorce. And we really, really work hard at integrating you into that negotiation and settlement phase. You can read through the wants and needs and so forth through the journey of the divorcing homeowner. And I think the earlier in the process that we can be involved, we will have the access to give such greater contribution right? I think in the end, when you think about it, family law professionals, attorneys, they know law. They don't understand guidelines. And that's where our opportunity to truly partner with them and bridge that gap come into play. 
So one of the most common questions I get from loan officers all across the country, right? Why do I need this specialized training to work with divorcing homeowners? I can read underwriting, I can read underwriting guidelines. My typical response is something similar to like, well, I should certainly hope so, right? You're a professional. It's your job to know guidelines. But the problem is, is that the typical mortgage professional has tunnel vision. They're only looking at the mortgage. And that is usually why they fail to build a strong presence in the divorce market. And then they move on to the next shiny object. A CDLP, we offer a unique perspective other mortgage professionals just don't have. I love that saying, you know, it's not what you look at that matters. It's what you see. You want them to be part of solution, right? Perspective is a powerful thing. And when you can look at a divorce case with a broader vision and learn to work with that professional divorce team during the process, not after, we're going to help you identify strategies, you know, to help make that desired end game a reality, right? So why do you need to know certain aspects of family law, financial, and tax planning? Because when the home and other real properties in the mix, these four practice areas are heavily overlapped. And this only takes into consideration a fraction of possible overlaps, yet really amplifies the need for a very knowledgeable and strong professional divorce team. If we layer on military divorce, right, you can see there's even more areas of overlap. How about our divorcing homeowners? They have their own special considerations and needs that come into play as well. So if my, need, my point today in sharing statistics, perspectives, and even this diagram is because I want you to not only see the opportunity that's available for you, but also to realize that this is serious and it can be a profoundly strong focus um, to grow a strong, sustainable divorce mortgage planning practice for you and for your family, your team, everyone, right? So let's jump into the next phase. Let's talk today about divorce as a business decision. I've shared the statistics, the perspective, and why. Now let's look at why we would look at leveraging divorce as a strategic business decision, right? The five objectives I'm going to discuss with you today. One, we're going to talk about providing an overview of the role of the CDLP. We're gonna go through and explore why divorce can be a strategic business opportunity in the mortgage industry. We're also gonna discuss some of the unique challenges that you'll meet, right? And recognize some of the opportunities for you within that divorce lending niche. We're gonna go through and share some of the helpful strategies for building a successful divorce practice. And then lastly, you know, go through some ethical considerations, right? So the role of the CDLP, we are, I think we're starting to understand this a little better now, right? Having that mortgage expertise to work through and go through, let me back up for a moment, taking the time to understand what it is, a C, what it is to be a CDLP, to be a specialized mortgage professional, to go through the training and the certification, right, in dealing with um, with mortgage financing during divorce proceedings, you're going to have expertise in navigating the unique financial and legal challenges that arrive when a couple's going through a divorce, especially when it relates to real estate and mortgage matters, right? You're going to be able to assist your divorcing clients in making informed decisions regarding their property, their mortgage, and their housing arrangements. So we as CDLPs play a crucial role in that divorce process by specializing in the financial and mortgage aspects of the divorce cases, right? Our primary objective is to help divorcing individuals and their legal and fi financial teams navigate the complex financial terrain of divorce-related mortgage matters. Most loan officers today think of divorce and marketing to divorce attorneys as a quick fix to their current business situation. There is no doubt, and we're not going to spend any time today at all talking about what's currently impacting our market, right? Let me just say that divorce, it is not a shiny new object. You will literally be involved in one of the most legal and financial aspects of someone's life when you're working on a divorce case. And we need to bring value and not chaos. So I think the number one mistake mortgage professionals make is simple. They underestimate the required knowledge 
of divorce that's needed to significantly impact um, or I'm sorry, to, to make a significant impact to the overall divorcing individual, right? And their success as a, um, in, and their success, and I say success, and you think when you're talking divorce, that's not a word we would use, but it is because we want to set up our divorcing homeowners to be successful in their next home purchase. So what are the things that we can do to ensure that that happens, right? So. Divorce, it can be a very strategic business decision and an opportunity for those, right, that want to specialize in divorce lending and for several reasons. Let's talk about that. Specialized niche, right? You have an opportunity, sure, of course, to specialize in divorce mortgage lending, positioning yourself as an expert in a niche with substantial growth, right? Everyone throughout my 33 years in this business has always said, have a niche, own it. How do you position yourself to have that knowledge to separate yourself from the competition, right? So by focusing on this niche, mortgage professionals can actually differentiate themselves from your competitors and establish yourselves as an expert in a specific area of real estate finance. Why don't loan officers jump into divorce? It's one of the most intimidating areas, right? You are literally working with and growing your practice with professionals and clients who need your services today, not tomorrow. That's why specializing in a niche has such a greater return on your investment than casting a wide net through traditional mortgage professionals, right? And if you happen to be one of those folks that specialize in VA and or reverse, our divorcing seniors, remember, and our military are a huge demographic within that divorce niche that you should also consider. Let's talk about the growing demand, right? The divorce rate has remained relatively consistent for the last several years. As a result, there is a consistent and growing demand for mortgage-related services during divorce proceedings. Mortgage professionals who cater to this demand can tap into a consistent client base, right? With that current divorce rate at two and a half per thousand that we talked about earlier, two and a half million divorces are expected this year, right? 70% of all of them involving real property. So we don't want to lead you down the path of rate grouping your business, right? Because that's number one, it's inaccurate. And secondly, it's disrespectful to, to divorcing homeowners. You know, well, everyone who has a mortgage is somewhat rate sensitive. Cash flow typically has a higher priority in divorce situations, and we need to be in a position to provide strategic options for these individuals, right? Part of the growing demand of CDLPs is because they're knowledgeable divorce mortgage planners who know how to address the important concerns our divorcing clients have, from rate to cash flow to tax strategies to overall financial strategies during and after a divorce, right? Divorce represents a massive transfer of wealth in our country, and it presents unique financial complexities that go way beyond the traditional mortgage lending. Divorce often involves complex financial matters, including the equitable distribution of assets, property division, and mortgage-related decisions. Mortgage professionals with expertise in divorce lending can provide valuable guidance to divorcing individuals and their legal and financial advisors. It's more than just what loan program, you know, that they may, may be eligible for, but more what loan program best fits their situation, right? Are their retirement assets being divided with quadros, equalization payments, alimony trusts, estate planning, so many things outside the normal scope of mortgage lending that can become very complex financial matters requiring expertise and knowledge of how each decision made during settlement may impact the ability to obtain mortgage financing now and in the future. And these decisions may affect each individual involved differently. So taking a neutral approach and having a wider perspective and understanding is critically important, right? Divorce requires individuals to reevaluate their financial situations and make decisions that can have long-term consequences. 
mortgage professionals, you guys can help clients plan for their post-divorce housing needs, budgeting and mortgage financing options, right? Divorce financial planners and CDLPs literally go hand in glove. Financial advisors understand the financial aspect of divorce. They understand how mortgages work. But what they don't understand is what drives the qualification aspects of a mortgage. And that's where we fit in. There is so much opportunity to partner with divorce financial planners. It's there. It's the opportunity is so grand, you know, and let's talk momentarily about long term relationships, right? Divorcing individuals are one of the most loyal clients you will ever have. If you can step in and be someone who have helped them solve a complex issue, such as housing or retaining their family home so their children didn't have to move or go to a different school, or you just help make the situation a little smoother and a little better. They're going to remember the emotional ties, right? They're going to turn that into a very long-term relationship for you and probably one of your best word of mouth advocates. You know, mortgage professionals, I can only say this, those that assist clients during divorce often build long-term relationships with those clients, right? They may continue to work with clients as they navigate post-divorce housing changes, refinancing, and then eventually purchasing of new homes, right? Diversification is something I always love. You know, you may be familiar with the saying, many streams make a river, right? For mortgage professionals who primarily focus on traditional mortgage lending, Adding divorce lending to their service portfolio can diversify their business and provide additional income streams to feed that river. And I know the mortgage market is tough right now, but I can also tell you that our CDLPs who are consistent and made the decision to specialize in the divorce market, they're still closing loans today. They're not just getting by. You know, they are out there working and collaborating and networking. They are busy and they're going to continue to do so as they continue to strengthen their market position and identify themselves truly as a subject matter expert. When we talk about collaboration opportunities, you know, mortgage professionals working in divorce lending often collaborate, as we know, with attorneys and mediators and financial planners, right? You not only have additional networking opportunities, but the divorce market is small, guys. Divorce professionals don't hesitate to share you, right? And other professionals, including opposing counsel, because they aren't afraid you might refer a client to someone else instead of them, right? They're willing to share the value that you bring because they understand that others will benefit from your area of expertise. Just as if you were to refer a client to them, they believe that you were doing so because you believe that client deserves and needs their expertise. So as a CDLP, you have the ability to collaborate throughout the divorce case, right? You're literally involved during the settlement conferences and mediation because family law professionals learn the importance of integrating divorce mortgage planning into their case management start to finish. So in summary, divorce can be a strategic business decision for mortgage professionals because it represents the opportunity to take your mortgage practice to an entirely different level working with family law professionals and clients who require a professional willing to see the bigger picture, willing to understand that mortgages are on an entirely different level as it intersects with family law, financial, and tax planning and the overall financial aspect incident to divorce. I love this because, you know, divorce is like a chess game, right? It requires careful planning, strategic thinking, and adapting to changing circumstances. Divorce mortgage planning has both its unique challenges as well as its unique opportunities. When we recognize when and how to turn these challenges into opportunities is when you will excel as a CDLP. Certified divorce lending professionals face several unique challenges when working with divorcing homeowners due to the complex and emotional charge nature of divorce related mortgage matters. But being able to turn the challenges into opportunities is what makes a CDLP so sought after. You know, let's talk momentarily. We've talked about what the divorce market is. We've talked about 
all of the different components and the opportunities, right? So let's talk about how we build it. How do you build a successful divorce lending practice? Building a successful divorce lending practice, it truly involves a combination of expertise, networking, and effective marketing. So here are four tips to really help grow a divorce lending practice, right? Of course, I'm gonna start with my favorite, specialize and obtain certification, right? Focus on becoming an expert in divorce-related mortgage matters. Obtain the necessary certifications, such as a CDLP certification, to demonstrate your commitment to this niche. Continually educate yourself on changes in divorce laws, divorce financial and tax strategies, mortgage guidelines, and market trends to stay on top or at the forefront of your field, right? Network with divorce professionals, establishing strong relationships with divorce attorneys, mediators, financial planners, right? CDFAs and other professionals who work with divorcing clients. Attend local divorce attorney association meetings, collaborative law practice groups, and other events to expand your professional network. You know, think about if you're one of those loan officers that specialize in reverse mortgages, have you sought out your local estate planning councils, right? And those necessary certifications, you know, have you thought about offering educational workshops and webinars? Offering educational workshops and webinars on divorce mortgage planning topics is huge. As a CDLP with the Divorce Lending Association, you would have the ability to present our already approved workshops. They're approved with the local state bar associations, right? We have Supreme Court CLE divisions, financial advisory boards, et cetera. Our workshops put you in a position of authority and expertise to your audience. So there's no reason to reinvent the wheel, guys, right? Educating is always the best way to differentiate yourself. Don't ever let anyone tell you differently. You wanna establish yourself as a subject matter expert? Teach others, right? Provide valuable information and insight through educational sessions can establish you as the trusted resource and attract potential clients and referrals. You know, huge, huge. And then finally, have a client-centric approach. The thing that I find difficult is when someone says they want to focus on and specialize in divorce, and they get a referral, and the first thing they want to do is take an application. For goodness sakes, guys, don't do that. Do not do that, right? Take a client-centric approach by being empathetic, by being patient and understanding the emotional challenges that divorcing homeowners face. Clearly communicate the mortgage process, the requirements and potential outcomes, right? Make sure that we're setting realistic expe um, expectations and then providing personalized mortgage solutions that take into account the unique financial circumstances of each client. Remember that building a practice in divorce mortgage planning may take time, as it involves establishing trust and credibility within a specified within a specific niche. Consistency in your efforts, right? A commitment to ongoing education and a focus on building strong professional relationships will contribute to your long-term success as a CDLP, should you choose to specialize in this field. Let's talk about our certification program here momentarily before we start to bring this to a close. Hey, Lynn, right. I was wondering if you could give an example of what a CDLP offers to a divorcee couple as far as working with guidelines and understanding how to put something together, just like a small example of how we are different than other mortgage originators. I mean, absolutely. One, you know, San Diego's two perspective, right? Our ability to communicate effectively, have that great bedside manner. And one of the things that we do here at the association is for all of our members, we have um, a report. It's called the Divorce Mortgage Planning and Real Property Report. And this is an Excel document on steroids. What it's designed to do is it's kind of like a client intake form, an application, and kind of some qualifying and future thought 
but it doesn't trigger RESPA, it doesn't trigger an application, disclosures or anything. And what it's designed to do is to kind of take into account their income, their assets, what the potential um, uh, what the potential um, child support or alimony is going to do. It's going to let you know like, hey, you guys are proposing this, but that's not, yeah, that's income, but it's not verifiable income. You know, and it allows you to put proposals together based off of what they're asking for in the settlement. What we find, Sandy, most often is that this document is being included with the marital settlement agreement that's being given to opposing counsel because their marital settlement agreement is the proposal of everything. And this is kind of the validity document to say, yes, we can or cannot do what you're proposing or asking. So it's a huge document. And then it protects you as a loan officer because you're not taking an application, you're not pulling credit, you're not triggering, you know, any kind of disclosures or RESPA, right? So it's so it's kind of like a, you know, it's a it's a very incredibly important document. Um, and the more we find um, that it's included with that marital settlement agreement being given to opposing counsel, what does that do for you as a CDLP? Your next call should be to opposing counsel when once that divorce case is settled to say, look, what I did for this client, I'd love to be able to, what clients do you have that I could currently do this for, right? And guess what? The attorneys, as I mentioned earlier, they will refer you to other attorneys because of the service involved, because you're not, it's not like you're going to take anything from them, right? They, they want everyone to see that expertise. So, so I would agree. I would agree with a lot of what you said. So not only am I a CDLP, I am a VA specialist living in Colorado Springs. We are, you know, surrounded by military. Um, right. And I do find that the two go hand in hand. Um, and of course, um, having an understanding of how the VA works um, definitely helps with the divorce lending. We also offer workshops with a financial uh, certified divorce financial uh, planner and a, a CDRE, a realtor, every month we offer these at the library. They are very successful. It gives us the opportunity to invite attorneys that are looking to build their business to come in and speak about the different laws. So depending upon what state you all are in, because New York divorce, where I'm originally from, and Colorado divorce look very, very different. Divorce in Texas looks very, very different. Um, there are like, there are like recently, I'm closing on a VA loan where, um, you know, just having that specialty and knowing that um, common law marriage in Colorado is legal. Um, we all they have to do is sign an affidavit and have it uh, in front of a notary. And all of a sudden now you don't have to come up with 12 and a half percent to buy a, pro a property with your partner because in the state of Colorado, common law marriage is recognized. And so then you can go back to your 100%. So there's a lot um, of specifics that we learn in these different certification courses. Um, I know for a fact that many attorneys are very surprised to find out that 120 days is not enough time for us to do an equity buyout if we need to use income. And what I do say to a lot of people is you need to have an understanding of the 636 rule. Yep. And if you don't, you need to familiarize yourself with exactly what that 636 rule looks like when it comes to divorce planning. Um, and attorneys stay and they listen to our financial advisor. They listen to myself as the mortgage lender. They listen to our CDRE because they offer very um, different things. So I, you know, this has been very, a very um, large portion of what I have been doing since I moved to Colorado um, because right. divorce is so huge here and it, it, it's unfortunate sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, so having an understanding, I can't stress that, that enough, is that it's not just being a certified divorce lending professional, but it's also being well-versed in guidelines so that you have an understanding of when Absolutely. a court order overrides a Fannie guideline. And I think well, a lot of people don't understand that. We work absolutely. in a gray area with Fannie Mae guidelines when we have court ordered divorce agreements. 
No, absolutely. And inside of the association, we offer a ton of tools and resources, including job aids. And one of the job aids that I love is a is a matrix of Fannie, Freddie, and Jenny guidelines in certain areas, right? What do you do with, uh, you know, court ordered liabilities or, you know, or some other per certain area, right? What are their guidelines? And then we reference the selling guides to give our members the tools they need to go back and fight, you know, with their, with their particular underwriters, right? On certain areas, but you're absolutely right, you know, and that's why earlier I mentioned, like if you're, if you're a reverse mortgage lender or a VA specialist, this is right up your alley. Those are the number one and number two largest demographics of divorcing homeowners. They carry their own nuances, but it's also about taking that to the next level, right? What do you do with a VA guy that's going through a divorce that hasn't quite retired? And how do you look at certain nuances? What do you do when you have a reverse mortgage, you know, or potential reverse purchase situation, right? One of the things that our, you know, our members do is they give both. Like, let me give you an example of what it would look like if you actually did a forward mortgage, but because you're eligible for a reverse, here's what that would look like, right? How do you explain or talk to a, a homeowner that's 68 years old or 70 years old? They've been married for 40 years and in their home for 40 years. They bought it for 80,000. It's now worth 1.5, right? They're going to walk away with, you know, $750,000, but they can't fathom buying a million and a half dollar house. It's just not in their, their frame of mind but they could on a reverse purchase, right? But how do you walk them through the delicacies of not only the financial matters, because it's a little tougher for them as they get older, right? We have to talk a little slower. Our approach is different. We might even be dealing with their children around the dinner table because we're spending their inheritance. So should you choose to get involved in reverse or VA, you're right. Make sure you know every single thing about it. Be a resource, right? Remember earlier I said, bring calmness, not chaos, right? Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about our certification course. If anybody happens to want to look through in that, I think it's important to know our course breakdown. It's 18 hours of content. You can take it online. There are five modules. You do need an 80% to pass, right? We don't um, hand out a membership. It's not a pay for fee service. You do need to pass uh, with an 80% or better. It does include your first year membership into the Divorce Lending Association that gives you all the tools and resources that we've talked about. Don't miss out on an opportunity to change the trajectory of your 2024, right? Um, we provide everything that you would need. It's all inclusive. Let's leave nothing on the table. Everything that you would need to have a competitive advantage and establish yourself as a trusted expert in your market is this. What we've done is we have bundled our certification course, along with the other two steps that we didn't get into today. One is business development, giving you all of the steps to obviously launch and scale, right? Client consultations, business planning, the divorce mortgage planning report, et cetera. In addition to what do you do when you pass your certification course? How do you execute? How do you launch, right? And so we've offered a small group coaching um, that includes your own HubSpot CRM, right? It includes everything that you see here in the ability, and this is the most important key, the ability in the state that you're in to teach CLE and CE that's approved by your state bar association to teach financial planners, attorneys, right? Mediators. It also includes, and one of the big, best things is all of the marketing all the flyers, all the presentations, six months of social media, every week we give you, you know, including, you know, eight hours of additional live coaching every month inside the association. So you can see it all together here. Registration with the bundle is $2,290 out the door, right? Every single person in our gold coaching program that's paying monthly does pay $169 a month. So everything that you would need, enhanced CRM, all the digital marketing, everything, um, but here's the fun part because Primot is such an integral component and a good partner for us. We have, um, put together a discount code for you guys. It is good through the end of the month for those that want to sign up and get certified, right? You can go to, um, get CDLPcertified.com. You could put in the Crimat 200 code. It will take $200 off whether you come in as just the certification course and or the bundle. It's good for either or.
And then lastly, um, one of the greatest benefits of being a CDLP is the ability to highly engage with the financial planners and mediators that we're talking about. And one of the things that we are offering is a professional membership with the Divorce Lending Association, right? Where members can benefit from ongoing education, quarterly webinars. It includes resources, access to specialized expertise, referral opportunities. Um, who can join? Family law professionals, financial service professionals, right? CDFA, Certified Divorce Financial Analysts, CFPs, CPAs, mediators, divorce coaches, realtors, valuation services, title reps, mental health and coaching professionals, right? It includes an online directory. It includes a complimentary subscription to our Divorce Mortgage Planning Journal. That journal runs, it's relatively inexpensive as an annual subscription. Um, everybody on this call today can download our most recent Divorce Mortgage Planning Journal, right? And by subscribing to the journal, you're going to gain an access of wealth and knowledge designed to empower your business. This particular one that we're scrolling through on the screen here is 20 some odd pages long. So there's a ton of very valuable information in these journals designed to empower your business, right? So you can subscribe. It's a $69 annual subscription. You can download the QR code that's on the screen and it will give you the current subscription. Just know that any of your partners, any of your professional partners um, that join the association and join as a member, um, they have to be sponsored by a CDLP. So they can't become a member unless they are your partner. So again, you know, by adding this professional membership, by giving them the online directory, it's going to give them everything they need, including help with their SEOs, et cetera. So Sandy, with that, I know you told me we had 45 minutes. We are exactly 45 minutes in. So I wanted to pause for a moment and thank you very, very much for oh. allowing the Divorce Lending Association to come in and share what we are so passionate about. Um, and I just wanted to open up in case anybody had any questions or if there's anything else I could address for you guys. This is a really excellent time for anybody that has questions. You should be able to unmute yourself. Um, please ask Lynn. Um, in the chat room, I did put the website in there. I will also send out um, later on today or tomorrow, um, I'll send out the information that Lynn has here with the QR code to get your um, $200 discount. Um, but yeah, please ask questions. This is, uh, like I said, I've been a member since 2018. I'm a big believer in um, collaborative divorce. Um, and this is a huge step into um, creating that. Now, people that are in Denver here in Colorado, collaborative divorce is definitely much more acceptable than where I am located, where we are still educating attorneys about what collaborative divorce would look like. Um, it's just like, basically, you wouldn't go to an attorney that is a criminal law attorney for a divorce. You don't want to be going to a regular regular loan originator when you're doing right. equity buyouts. And this is, I can't stress this enough. Um, does it well, matter whether I, they use I can tell you. CDLP, but I always tell people when I'm doing my workshops um, that I don't care whether you work with me or not, we're here to give you information and help you through what you need to be expecting here in, in the state of Colorado. Please just work with a CDLP. If they go to Divorce Lending Association's website, you will see all the CDLPs that are listed in there for the areas that people are in. So these are the people that you want to trust, you know, the most when it comes to this kind of thing. So please feel free to ask questions. You know, and and uh, while we wait for in case there are any questions, uh, one thing I was going to say is, you know, one of the one a lot of times someone will come in and go, well, how are you any different, right? How are you different than a traditional loan officer? And we tend to kind of put that back on them to say how we're different. It, well, how are you different? You're you're not just a, a, a traditional attorney. You're an attorney who's chosen to specialize in divorce, right? Or you're not a CPA. You're a CPA who specializes in divorce. That makes you a CDFA, Certified Divorce Financial Analyst. You right. know, um, you're not a life coach. You're a divorce coach. So you've taken the time to understand the nuances that come with working with people in divorce. And, and one of the things, too, that we do is, and I was so glad that, I'm so glad that you guys also do this, is that, 
you know, we do want everybody to come out as a successful divorce. And I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but you're get these people are getting divorced for a specific reason. They want a better quality of life right. for themselves and for their children. Um, and one of the untapped sources that we as mortgage professionals tend to ignore are divorce attorneys, are accountants who can help. Think about accounting season, okay? People tell their accountants a lot of things. If they have a lot of money, they're always looking, what should we be doing? You should be networking with accountants. You should be in, you should be creating workshops where you invite specialists to come in and speak to your group of people. We invite family law, uh, family counselors to come in because we're not just concerned about the mental stability of the people that are going through the divorce. We're truly concerned about what, how it affects their young children and what they have to go for. So you, when you do this, you're, you're networking, not just with real estate agents. As a matter of fact, most of the people I network with now are attorneys, are financial planners. Um, I'm trying to find a forensic accountant to come in and speak to those who have a lot of money. Um, and we have the, you know, we're talking about over the age of 50 where they've accumulated a lot of assets. Um, and, you know, sometimes they are trying to hide things. They try to hide old pensions. They try to hide money. I'm not talking about Swiss bank accounts, but in a case like that, we need a forensic accountant to come in and do some investigations to make sure that everybody is is disclosing what they have. Um, and so a lot of well, it, you know, go ahead. I was just gonna say to touch on that, that component of it, right? right? One of the things that we do with our CDLPs is we prepare them to be an expert witness. Mm -hmm. We prepare them to have, um, a proper CV because, right. you know, the attorneys will ask, do you have a CV? And it's different than a resume, you know, and what does that look like? You know, and how do you prepare yourself to testify in court? You know, we just did a, a 30 minute deep dive with one of our CDLPs that just testified in court. She shared what that experience was like, what kind of questions they asked, you know, things like that. So we are here at the Divorce Lending Association, a community of sharers, mm -hmm. right? We, how do you grow together? Oh, we build each other up. And that foundation through knowledge and education is what makes us different. I have lawyers so, that come in and they will tell me, oh, there's there's already a lot of CDLPs in my area. They're, they've done the legwork for you. They've paved the road. They've they've shared the knowledge and education, right? Mm -hmm. And now it's time for you to do that. Right. Jolene, and I saw that you came off mute. Did you have a question, dear? Yeah, and I'm driving, guys, so bear with me. I just wanted to let the people that are on the call know that I'm a CDLP also, and I've been blown away by the program. Just the training itself, there's so often I think you do programs and the training is just like, yeah, you know, that that's okay. The training was so in depth and I can't believe the amount of knowledge that I walked away with, with just the training. And then the ongoing membership provides so much support and so much material to keep you going that often you know the after effects of the training is just you get trained and that's great bye-bye the depth of the excel spreadsheets blow my mind with with just what they provide and the tools that you get that you don't have without this program and I do the coaching, the $165, $169 a month coaching. And I didn't do it right away because I wanted to make sure I was prepared to really focus and be coached before I did it. So I did about six months without it. And I've been doing three months with it. And that provides even more. Uh, the mastery classes, is that like five classes a month or a week? Lynn? It's, it's eight it's eight classes every Monday and Wednesday for 30 minutes we do live training on what we consider the eight tracks to mastery eight different and sections and that's on top of any other additional coaching and webinars they do and they provide even more tools they they make the flyers for you all you have to do is enter in your personal information and your picture so yep. you're not going back going, well, 
now I got to create a flyer and I don't know how to do that. And now I got to create these documents that talk about what I am. It's all provided for you. And it's just mind boggling. Even the scripts of how to call somebody and what to say. And when you do the coaching program and you get the hub spot, they set it up for you. And if you follow it and you get attorney and you're trying to get them as a partner, it gives you the 20 day Lynn or the 10 day. I, I don't remember exactly in, what it's. Yeah. 10 touches in 20 days. But it basically tells you, call them, call them. Now it's three days later, text them. So you don't forget. I mean, it's for it's the all money. Pre, it's all pre-built in workflows in uh, HubSpot is a CRM that is um, a complimentary gift with your coaching membership. And the idea behind that is it gives you, and thank you, Julian, so much. It gives you some exclusivity because if you add in an attorney in your hometown, um, just know that no one else in the entire association can market to them. Right. And the same goes if you add an attorney and it doesn't allow you, it means that they're already working with another CDLP. And then we kind of look in that and you can always come to us and say, hey, are they really working with another CDLP or are they just somebody mass uploaded emails? And we're going to look at that. And if they are, then we're going to ask you respectfully. Yes, they are. And if they're not, then we're going to reassign them. Right. So our goal is to really help you guys be as successful as possible. And one of the things that we did in launching that eight tracks to mastery, which breaks down presentation mastery and all these different areas that you need to know. And we all realize we're great loan officers, but learning to be a CDLP is different, right? And what are all the steps we need to take? And so we know that if you come in and you go through certification, that's fantastic. But if you don't know what to do with that certification, even though it would include your first year membership at the end of the year, you most likely wouldn't renew because you didn't really do anything with it. And you would move on to the next shiny object. That's the reason that we have expanded our coaching program so much. We're literally $169 a month, but we have felt because it's detrimental to the membership as a whole. If we bring someone like Jolene in and we give her all the tools and the resources and we pour all our heart and love and Jolene knows that about us, about Linda and I, then at the end of your time, you will renew if you're a traditional member. And if you decide to go on and you want to scale your business and you want to just shorten that runway, right? To me, it's, it's an exchange of value of time for money. When we look at the opportunity that we have for you guys and what that looks like and and the, and the the uh, I was trying to go back to this screen here, you know, for oh, 2,200 bucks, right? I stopped the sharing for the question. Oh, that's okay. Sorry. No worries. I'm glad you did. So, you know, that all in bundle for 2,290, they're going to get an extra 200 off of that. So yeah, it's 2,000. And also just know that when they go through checkout, there is a Klarna um, buy now, pay later option that allows them to work it into their marketing budget versus a one lump sum, you know, payment coming in. Um, listen, this business is tough. There's no doubt about it. 2024 is, is tough. We're at the end of Q1. If your business isn't where it needs to be and we're at the end of Q1, you have to ask yourself, what are you going to do differently in the next 30 days? to help change the trajectory of your business for 2024. Will you be one of those loan officers that doesn't burn out, but just through lack of lack of volume, we have to take care of our families. We have to go do something else, right? Don't be one of those. Leverage this opportunity. This is, and, and the reason that we're involved in this, but I mean, for me, I feel like I want to scream it from the rooftops to every loan officer I know, because divorce does not, it's not that they don't care about rate, but they're not going to stay in the home until rates get better. They're not going to they're not going to do the things that traditional buyers are doing. They will make a move whether they want to or not. They have no choice. Yep. So how do we approach someone and tell them you're going to go from two and a half percent to seven and a half percent, but you're going to be happier, right? How do we deliver that message with the best bedside manner possible and the most respect possible? Right. And this is where you'll learn about what ordered loan assumptions versus release of liabilities. Um, versus doing a HELOC for equity buyouts versus a refinance and having a grand understanding for what a blended rate looks like. Um, because you're absolutely right. Divorce, the least of their concerns is what the interest rate is. Right. You it doesn't know, mean that they're not rate sensitive because we have to be- No, everybody's going to be rate sensitive, but you have a court order that says you have X amount of days to get this accomplished. And we don't care 
what your interest rate is. So our job is to look at both ends, look at the blended rate versus refinancing to help them understand. And, and a, I, I can't stress and, enough with VA lenders, with the VA loans that you have the EARL, once interest rates come down, uh, the EARL program does allow for you to remove a spouse in a court ordered divorce stipulation. Um, therefore, then having your entitlement put back. So these are just small little things that people need to have an understanding about, and they need to understand how to sell the loan correct, how to how to work with their borrowers correctly, not sell the loan, but work with their borrowers correctly to get them the best financing and make sure that they're educated on all the options available to them. And you can get a court order if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, um, for, for a 90% loan to value on a, on a, oh, I just put somebody off. It can, <laughs> you know, on 90, on a, it can be up on to a, 95. Right. On a, a, are you on talking a, about on an equity, on an equity buyout yeah. on Fannie Mae? Yeah. You can go to 90 and that's what they're talking about. For those of you that don't know the difference in that equity buyout, Fannie Mae has a guideline exception. They go up to 95 to, actually. That allows you. And I would have never known that. I would yeah. have never known that without this training. So it's pretty yeah. awesome. Cash, it, you know, no cash to the borrower, right? A true equity buyout, buying out your departing, departing spouse. Uh, and what that does is just knowing those little nuances, you know, rather than maxing them at 80 and requiring that they go li liquidate another asset to be able to meet that, yep. right? It, it gives you the advantage. And that's, and, you know, we talked about, if you guys think about that perspective slide, the two slides I showed you on perspective, that perspective of that loan officer, the traditional loan officer is very narrow. All they're thinking about is the mortgage. The perspective of a CDLP like Jolene is much grander and more expansive mm -hmm. to this program. And also the other thing that the other nuance about that is pricing. And a lot of people don't understand when you have an equity buyout court order. And yes, you can't pay your attorney fees out of that. You can't pay off debts to qualify. Right. It's specifically only to cover that equity buyout that's stipulated um, in the divorce decree. Uh, you also have to work with your lenders and help sometimes educate them because that is construed as a no cash out refinance because it's court ordered. So the pricing on the interest rate is not based on cash out. Correct. Correct. So I think what, what hopefully everyone that is on this call and anyone listening to this call, just know that we as an association are here to help you be successful. We're here to help you navigate the market and the complexities of what it's like to work in the divorce market, but know that that opportunity exists, the opportunity to reinvent yourself and, and maybe not work with as many realtor partners in 2024, but redistribute your energy and your focus to divorce attorneys, financial planners, mediators. We're going to work with you on making sure that you know, like joining the local bar associations, right? I happen to be Hispanic. I could find a Hispanic Women's Bar Association, not just the California Bar Association where I'm at. So think about those things and how you expand your efforts, right? If you're a reverse mortgage person and you specialize in seniors, are you part of the estate planning council? You should as a traditional loan officer, but as a divorce specific reverse mortgage loan officer, you absolutely should. Are you networking with the right estate planning folks? Right. We're going to give you all the tools and all the guidance to be successful in every step of the way on not just certification, but how do you launch this business and how do you scale it? Redefine yourself. The best way to do it is to teach it to others. I love being part of that gold coaching program, Sandra, as you know, because you get to teach others. Yep. That was the reason I joined day one. I, I knew there were 99 other million benefits. And for me, it was about, oh, I can teach. Absolutely. I want to differentiate myself. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's been a pleasure for us to be here for sure. And we appreciate the opportunity to be and able to talk. I so appreciate you coming in, Lynn. So this is uh, been recorded. What will happen is for our members, you will always be able to find any of our live coaching calls in our library archives on Primat Financial Learning Center's LMS system. Um, if you are not a member, and you have questions about our membership, please email me. Um, I'm always happy to answer 
any questions that you have about the membership. We also have a YouTube channel. You will find for non-members, you will find all of our special guest presentations on the YouTube channel free for you to view anytime you want. So with that, thank you so much, Lynn. I will get with you in a couple of days. I'm looking forward to updating a few things on my own site and my HubSpot. Um, and I will tell you, I do love the HubSpot. I really, really love the HubSpot. Gives me gentle reminders. Call your attorney, Sandy. Did you do that today? You know, I love that yes. about the HubSpot. So, and we it's really also appreciate a that. great place where you can just automate and set up your newsletters to go out to your attorneys. And I, I just, I love everything. I've watched so much transformation go on with divorce lending since I became a member in 2018. I think Jody started it in 2014, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm one of your older members, I think. <laughs> but it's, I, I definitely appreciate it. And I, I just want to specify also, if you think that you're going to get business immediately, you need to rethink that because remember, every state is different with divorce. In Colorado, minimum uh, minimum time to get divorced is 91 days. And generally speaking, if you need uh, to use different types of income, you're gonna need to show six months of stability, which means that you may not start getting business in for six to eight months. Um, and so you you have to put a lot of love and patience in this. If you're an impatient person, um, you might want to rethink it because you have to have patience and diligence, Absolutely. absolute diligence. And you need to not be scared of sitting in front of an attorney. OK, they learn just like we learn. And those CLE classes will give you confidence to present to your attorneys. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. With that. Everybody, I know we all got a busy day, so thank you so much, and everyone have a wonderful day. Mortgage Support Room will be open for anybody that needs help with anything mortgage-related. Um, just give me about 15 minutes to get in there for anybody that needs me, okay? Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Thank you.